love me a good lever action, and fortunately the real steel versions are prohibitively expensive, so I haven't really dabbled in those too much. <sighs> really should get one of those PW87s from Century Arms at some point, even though they've been reviled by pretty much everybody who's ever touched one. I still want one badly. But for the longest time, we had the foam options, and wouldn't you know it, Busby had one a long time ago in the form of the Air Warriors Rapid Fire Tech. Circa 2005, much before we had Sling Fires or God, the Sentinel, which is so good. Oh, the Sentinel is so good. So today on Tag Back, the show where every week we take a look at a blaster from the past to see what it can offer us today in the present, and I know I haven't been sticking to that schedule too well, and I'm hoping to fix that end this time. Like I said, it's the Rapid Fire Tech, which is a lever action blaster from Busby that uses a magazine and their dreaded shells, because pretty much everything they made at that point had to have their shells. Not that it's a super bad thing, I mean, it's obviously garbage for performance, but from a play standpoint, it's darn cool. And I know a lot of people have made, well, maybe not a lot of people, but people have tried to make their own lever action stuff, because Busby's was just not the greatest. Because of these shells. These shells are pretty much the one reason why nobody liked these things. Because if you use it in a war, it looks cool, but then you have to collect the shells and they get stepped on and they get broken. And the shells have internal air restrictors that you have to try to remove, which are not very easy. I, I don't get Busby at all. They're just so bizarre. And you would think, yay, they finally got rid of these. But no, last year they had a blaster. The uh, Well, they always have the, the double shot, which has always had them. But then they had the double shot in the whole uh what was it the walking dead line that had them and then of course they are making the rapid fire tech still today in fact the 2017 line nearly 12 years later has a blue rapid fire tech in it just blows my mind this thing has been made for 12 years and it's not good i mean it's fun but it's not good i actually wonder if they've done any performance increases to that whatsoever and you can kind of understand why i mean Where's the plunger tube? This is where the magazine goes, so where do you think the plunger tube's at? Right back here, you would be sorely mistaken, and I will show you why. Because I destroyed one of these a uh, long time ago when I was making the sling Winrar. And then I saw the internals, and I had a good laugh about it. And I still have a majority of those internals today, which I get to show you. Now, this is a magazine-fed blaster. It comes with a magazine, six shells, and six darts, so you can probably do the math. The magazine does in, hold, in fact hold six shells. And they look like this. You take your Busby sticky darts, you put them into the shell, and then you put the shell into the mag, and then you put the mag into the blaster. Now, I only have this one right here because this was in a box of stuff that Jomo sent me that he wanted me to mod. I don't know if he wanted me to mod this thing. In fact, Jomo, you might want to get back to me on that one because this was just kind of sitting in there. But if you're expecting some grandiose modification out of this piece of junk, well... You're sorely mistaken, unfortunately. Now, you don't have to do anything special to put this in there. It is worth noting that there is a very flimsy plastic magazine release clip right here. But you basically just put that in there. It's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if this thing on the end has ever done anything. I actually don't remember. Maybe this one has been modded previously. Maybe this is broken. Or maybe this is just... I mean, that's where the hammer would be on an actual lever action. But, well, it doesn't do anything to my knowledge and then the woefully pitifully small trigger right here heh <sighs> and this very very uncomfortable priming ring whatever you want to call it lever it is uh not comfortable at all it's roughly the same thing that's in the sentinel but way harder to prime because there's a lot more going on in this blaster and while it looked really cool without the magazine, with the magazine in there, it just looks goofy because there is, of course, no kind of tubular fed anything in this. And my gosh, I would give any amount of money for Busby to take the magic that's inside of the rail blaster and put like a hammer shot style spring down here with the conveyor belt that's ran by the priming slide right there and have like a gate at the front to load dart. Oh my God, that would be so amazing. Busby, you make dreams come true, so maybe their thought detection satellite is beamed in on me at this time. But I'm holding this off because it's it's really not that fun, although it's visually impressive if you want to take a look right here in the action. When I prime this down, a shell will come up. And then when I pull that back, the shell gets pushed 
into the chamber, and then I fire a dart. That was one dart. But the cool part is, when I prime this again, of course it has to remove that shell. Which it does effortlessly. And then you slam in another one. I mean, that right there is worth buying the blaster for because it is stupidly fun. That's right, I got a whiteboard sitting right there. Oh, if it wasn't just, oh, so ridiculously hard to do sometimes. And of course, it's not meant to be sitting sideways when you prime it. These initially do pop out quite effortlessly. And I guess that's what happens. That's what that's for. It's for that tube right there, which I absolutely did not realize it did that. And now I love this blaster even more because that reminds me of like the, uh, the pump action shotgun from Rust does that, which I absolutely adore. Every single time you pry it or they pump the shotgun, this tube comes out the back and I just love it. So that answers my own question right there. I completely forgot it did that. <sighs> I want to like this thing. And again, if you want one of these, you can still buy them. In fact, I'm sure there will be some kind of link in the description box below where you can pick one up for a reasonable price. But the performance is abysmal. Absolutely horrendous. It is Maverick levels of bad. So don't be expecting a whole lot of great tags. And then of course, with these shells, it makes everything a little bit more difficult. Do you want to know why it's bad? I'm glad you didn't ask. Here are the internals. Uh, you can kind of tell this is pretty much the same thing right here. Never mind the fact that this is clearly broken. And uh, yeah, you see this? That's the plunger tube. Now, of course, the one in here is not broken, at least not to my knowledge. So just pretend this is one piece of plastic that is not broken. But it primes back here. In fact, there is a white piece of plastic right in here that pulls back the plunger head. It is direct plungered. But then, of course, when you release that, it has to put enough air through here that taps right there into kind of where the dart is and then fire, uh, it's horrible. It's awful. That is a lot of dead space. Absolutely abysmal. Wow, that's a lot of dirt on the end of that thing. This has been sitting in a box for, you know, this is when the flood happened in the basement when I lived in Idaho, so. Yeah, that's, that's horrible. It's, it's the worst thing they could have possibly done. I mean, I get why they did it, but uh, man, for all the cool things this blaster does, it's just let down by how pitiful the performance is. I want to like it, and it holds a special place in my heart. But of course, if you're looking for one for performance reasons, you just need to get a Sentinel. In fact, I would say don't don't even bother with the sling fire. Just get a Sentinel before they... They're not actually... As far as we've seen, the Sentinel isn't even in the 2017 lineup. So you might really actually want to get a Sentinel because those things are amazing. They hit just insane ranges and you can mod them fairly easily let me know what you think about the busby rapid fire tech down in the comment section below i'm really interested if anybody else has some fond memories of this thing i do i wish i would have had one when i was a kid but i was 15 when this thing came out and i was probably too busy worrying about other things kids who are 15 worry about like video cards and airsoft it's actually an app description I'm Walcom S7's Hands. Thank you very much for watching this video. And of course, I hope to see you in an entirely new one. And thank you very much for Jomo to sending this thing in with the box of stuff that he wants me to mod. Although again, I have no idea why he included it. If he wants me to mod this thing, I guess I'll have to like stick brass in it somewhere. Cause that's about the only thing I can think of.